Hey you guys, I just wanted to make a really quick video to say I survived. Um, so I feel a tiny bit even silly about all the worrying I was doing beforehand because it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I think I realized two things. One, people are a lot less attentive than you might think they are. Um, and this is probably something I worried about people wondering why I was eating so much when I was eating with them when I was bigger, bigger, I mean, whatever, when I was able to eat. Um, probably it's the same thing. I mean, people weren't paying as much attention then as I thought they were, and they definitely weren't paying as much attention as I worried they were yesterday. And the other thing is, I mean, people, yeah, I mean, they just, they love food. Everyone was, I mean, you know, I went with Becky and her family and even these, you know, everyone who goes to the gym all the time, like, were totally eating and totally into what was on their plate and not really paying attention to what was going on anywhere else. So one thing that really helped was that it was a rectangular table instead of an oval one like I thought it would be. So instead of kind of everyone looking at everyone, I was really, Becky was sitting next to me and then I was on the end and across from me was um, her sister's boyfriend and her sister was next to him. So it was a little bit more, I was off on the periphery, which was nice. And then, you know, super fancy. I think I told you guys in the last video, it was the Four Seasons. So super, super, super fancy. Um, but there was a big appetizer bar first, and then we all ordered entrees, and there was a dessert bar. So the way that I did it, in case anyone, you know, pre-op is maybe thinking for next Thanksgiving or anything like that, but we went up to the appetizer bar, and I got, you know, a deviled egg. I got two little pieces of cheese. Um, I got this tiny little cup of butternut squash mousse. So it was totally pureed. And that was it. And that kind of filled not really the plate. But I mean, within 30 seconds of sitting down, everyone who had heaped their plate full had a plate that looked like mine, you know, that was halfway full. So I just took really tiny, tiny, tiny bites, like maybe two little tastes of this incredible blue cheese, one little taste of the cheddar cheese, two little baby, baby tastes of the mousse. Um, and I had about a third of one of the deviled eggs, you know, like cut in half anyway. Um, and the big reason is because I knew I'd have to eat the entree. I knew I wanted to try a bunch of stuff. So usually I have a fourth or a third or a half cup of one thing. And later in the room, I tallied everything up, and I had a half cup of food, but it was like one teaspoon of this, one teaspoon of that, you know, one tablespoon of that. So it was kind of difficult maybe to keep track of, but it was also a three-hour meal because um, it's coarse and it's fancy. So that made it a bit easier. So then everyone went up for a second round of appetizers, and I got a cup of soup, a butternut squash soup, which I really just had one taste of. Um, and part of it, too, obviously, Becky knows I'm trying not to draw attention to myself, so she was trying some of the stuff on my plate. Um, but again, you know, they kept clearing the plates really quickly. It didn't seem weird. I didn't feel weird. Um, and then for the entrees, I had ordered crab cake, and I was worried they might be, like, super fried or something like that, and I was just eating in the middle. But it was actually like almost like pressed pure crab, really moist into a cake. And so I cut like an eighth of that for myself. And then immediately I was like, oh, Becky, do you want some? And I cut off a big chunk and gave her a piece. Um, and I cut off a big chunk and gave it to her sister and cut off another big chunk and gave it to her mom. So my plate, I mean, fancy restaurants, you know, it's not like you're getting big piles of food. It's probably like that big. Um, but within 30 seconds of it coming, I'd given away more than half of it. And then I just you know, took little, little bites, maybe a tablespoon, two tablespoons, maybe total of this crab cake, which was so, 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 so good. Um, and then dessert was maybe the hardest part just because I'm only a few weeks post-op. I know people who get further out maybe can handle a little bit more sugar, but there was no way I wanted to dump for the first time in front of her family. And I haven't dumped yet. I really don't want to. Um, and I haven't even had a sweet tooth, which is lovely because I used to eat, I mean, in my bad days, I would eat a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream like every night. So it's really nice not to have that like constant need for sweets. And once or twice when we've been grocery shopping, I've almost picked up like sugar-free Reese's peanut butter cups or today in the store I saw the Godiva sugar-free dark chocolate, which I know um, Beth had said was really, really good. But I just, I kind of don't want to even start down that route. Like I feel like at some point, of course, I'll want to have it and you know, then maybe it'll be not a habit, but something that I regularly have. But right now, if I'm happy not to have it, like, I just want to delay starting down, like, the sugar path. So, but it was, 
a little rough because everyone was going up. I felt like I couldn't not go up. Um, and no one had paid me any attention the whole meal. So I went up and I got, they had um, little things of vanilla creme brulee. So I got that. And someone at the bar, which I thought was funny, had taken half of a piece of pumpkin pie. So I took the other little half. So score already, it looked like I'd eaten half. Um, and then I put some berries on my plate. And I had one lick, like, like the teeniest amount of the pumpkin pie. I mean, not even a teaspoon, not even half a teaspoon. And then the same amount of the creme brulee. And then just like, you know, whatever, stirred up the creme brulee, so it looked like I've had a little bit more, and kind of put it off to the side. And I cleared it right away, and no one paid any attention. And people sat there and ate these massive desserts, and these, you know, went back for seconds for desserts. And I mean, I think Amelia was talking about it, how she would watch, she watched her husband eat a chocolate bar, and how he was like, and it was gone. And when she eats chocolate, it's like one piece, and she savors every little bit of it. And and I definitely, that thought crossed my mind when I was, like, really enjoying that, like, teeny tiny little taste of pumpkin pie. And other people were, like, vacuum hoover styling these plates of, like, 40 different kinds of desserts. And, I mean, not that I'm being judgy about that, or I hope I'm not being judgy about that, because obviously, probably, if I wasn't afraid of hurting myself and I was just on a, you know, diet, I would have taken taken the day off and had whatever I wanted to. So... I don't mean to say I'm like suddenly better than that, but I'm just really grateful that I couldn't do that. Um, and then afterwards, I mean, we lingered for, at the table for a long time, and then afterwards we went for a walk and we went for a movie, and it was just really nice. Um, I mean, I didn't have any problems with my stomach at all. And then the weird thing is, you know, so we, we stayed at a hotel because we were in Philly, and we, and I live in New York, obviously, and her family left, and so we went to the bar and had, you know, they didn't have, like, a full menu, but um, I got, like, salmon salad, salmon rigue, it was called, whatever, fancy, um, which was pretty good, and then Becky got tuna tartare, which is, you know, like, sushi, sashimi tuna, really, really good tuna, that it's raw, it's just really chopped up, and it's got, like, just lemon juice on it, and I was a little bit nervous about it, um, just because I'm like, yeah, whatever. But then I tried it, and it was so good, and it, like, was really just, like, melted in my mouth, really small pieces, really, really, really tender. Um, so I ate some of that, and I don't know if that's what it was. I don't think it was anything about Thanksgiving, because it was, like, five hours later. But we went upstairs, and I had that second, for the second time, I had that, oh, my God, I have to throw up, and I was just in so much pain. Um, and not as bad as when I had had the gluten meat, the fake meat, but it was pretty bad for about half an hour. Um, and I mean, I felt fine at dinner, like maybe I had like a flutter of like, oh, my stomach's not that great, like I'll stop. But I felt fine for like a an, an half an hour maybe afterwards, and then suddenly it was like deep breaths and leaning over the sink and, you know, that he was on my back. And, you know, I walked around a lot, and I really, I mean, at one point I just really wanted to throw up because I wanted to get it over with, and I felt like I kept burping and, like, could feel it in my throat. I'm sorry if this is so gross. It was so gross. Um, but then also, like, I had packed my protein shakes, and I had packed cheese cubes, and, you know, I had water, but I was, like, afraid to eat anything after that. So I didn't even take my vitamins in the evening. I didn't really, you know, about an hour and a half later, I drank a little bit more water just because I didn't want to be in real trouble with that. But I don't know, pretty grim. And part of it, I'm sure, is like in my day-to-day -day now, I'm having, you know, protein shakes, you know, pinto beans, soup, you know, pretty cheese sticks. So my diet, I feel like, is really consistent here and really easy. And a lot of that is just I'm trying to get through this first month and be gentle with myself. And so I think probably it was just a whole day of really rich foods, you know, cheese and salmon salad and, you know, crab cake and just a lot of different things that I hadn't had yet and a lot of, I don't know, I guess I'm lucky I didn't get sick at Thanksgiving, but, um, but then today we, you know, went with her uncle and his girlfriend to breakfast and again, it was awesome. Like I was worried because it would just be the four of us that they'd be watching a little bit more, but nope. I had like a bite of Becky's thing. I had half of a poached egg. I had a quarter of a baked tomato slice. Um, was totally full and content, and no one noticed. So I guess people not paying attention really works out for you. I have to remember that next time I get nervous that everyone's going to see everything. 
But I hope you guys had a really good Thanksgiving. I know I'm running long, but I love seeing all your videos. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.